Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 4 of the Pokemon Back Random Nuzlocke Genlocked Challenge. That's such a mouthful. I really need to come up with a better name. Anywho, last time we left it, we we're about to go to trainer school to try and find the gym leader so that we can uh, go and get our first badge in Pokemon. There's also a little uh, training area that. Uh... Actually, yeah, let's do the training area first. It says it's for novices. Let's go full on novice. Okay, and I think we're going to put Yak front and centre into the party. Still got that luck here from last episode. Get him up uh, a few levels. Uh, we're not just too over leveled on Vox. I really thought this girl. Into the forest we go. For her. So you need to come back here when you've got strength because that's a boulder that can be pushed. Come back when you've got cut. This dude. What's he saying? Our goal is to perform, outperform gym leaders. Can your win assist me? Okay. Let's see. Alright, he's got three mons. Panpour. Going against a level 7 Panpour. Uh, See how he likes a bit of confusion. Oh, it's a ghost type. This could be bad. Yeah, super effective. Which means confusion is not going to be very effective at all, is it? Okay. We need to get him out of that. Into the box. That wasn't a great start for Yak. But it must have a pretty high uh, defense stat if it only took four while being super effective. There. Defense four, but we got the item increasing our defense anyway, so we're probably at even. Try an ice wind. I want to see if it's got a freeze chance on it. <laughs> Not very effective one hit kill. Yeah. Our definition of effective is uh, about to send in Amoongus. Yeah, we'll switch back into Yak. Get him some XP at the very least. Maybe he'll get the kill on his own. Surely I mean this isn't going to be another ghost type. Uh, some mushroom that looks like Pokeballs. I like it. God knows what type I think it's going to be. Maybe poison? Ah, well, we're super effective. Drained. Let's keep using uh, confusion if it's super effective. Uh, oh, ghost move. Not going to be good. Not going to be good. Down to 12. Uh, confusion will finish him off, but. Oh, I thought I was going to miss for a second there. Playing uh, hard and loose with Yak's uh, XP, how, <laughs> HP here. Level 8. And heal block. That could be useful. Oh! Straight up to level 9. That lucky egg is ridiculous. Level 10 in one battle. Damn. That's. Swoobat. Uh, keep battling. Why not? Okay. Lying. Let's use confusion. It's got us to half health. I'm hoping this will. No. Okay. It's time to uh, sub you out, matey. Uh, obviously not going to bring Timmy in. Flying on a grass Pokemon. So that's under leveled. Is a great way to lose a mon. Fox should be able to deal with this though. Critical hit. Didn't seem to do an awful lot. Use 
needs a nice wind. Yeah, super effective. Hundred and seven experience. Okay. Well, I definitely think it's safe to say Jack's got all the experience he needs from that little uh, encounter. Fox and what's this dude saying? Hey, hey, you! What was the first Pokemon you received? Kyrium, really? Then Emolga could be a really big help. Your Kyrium does not do well against Grass type Pokemon. So, hey, do you want this Emolga of mine? Sure. Okay, here you go. It can use Fire type moves, so that makes it hot against Grass types. We all received the Molga. Give a nickname to the Molga you received? Sure, why not? Uh, doesn't look like he's a fire type. Uh, I'm going to call him Roland after Roland Rat. Go. Welcome to the team, buddy. Uh, if you have many types of Pokemon, something will work out, no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Let's have a look at Roland, because he's certainly not going to be a fire type, is he? Summary. Electric and flying. All right. Highly persistent. What kind of moves have we got on him? Thundershock, quick attack and charge. Level 10. Oh, welcome to the team, lad. Welcome to the team. Uh, talking of the team, let's take that lucky egg off Yak because we're not going to be using him for a little while. And let's give Lady Vox the lucky egg. Get her ready for the gym. And it's coming up in our near future. Here, oh, on bottom. Dire hit. I'll take a bit of that. Can't go up there. Up there. I think that's pretty much everything until we get a couple of HMs. Novice Forest was very novice like. Okay. Need to remember I can run. Let's run back. We'll heal in case we need to use uh, Yak. Actually. Oh, I did it well too early that time. I thought I was getting better at it as well. Thank you for waiting, Mr. Search Pokemon. Thank you very much, Lee. See what's crackalacking. The trader school exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Nice. Pokemon are mysterious of spells called abilities. Abilities have a variety of effects, and many of those effects are activated when Pokemon are in battle. There's a technique that lets you cancel evolution. I read the book, I'll give it to you. You, you can surprise a Pokemon and stop its evolution by pressing B when a Pokemon is evolving. Good to know. Would you like to take a quiz about status conditions? Why the hell not? So here's a question. Which of the following items cures poison? Antidote? Ding ding ding. Right answer. Now for the next question. If the item that kills paralysis is Paralyze Heal, but which of the following items wakes up a sleeping Pokemon? Awakening. Ding ding ding, we have a winner, fantastic answer. Since you know so much about state conditions, I'll give you this. Got a full heal. Very nice. But for the medicine case, there's actually what they suggest it heals all state conditions. Good to know. Charon, ah! When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Hey Leon, have you come looking for Jim Leiden? Hells to the yeah. 
He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Leon, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Sure. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Let's see if you've improved any. And apparently you're called. God and sent out Spoiling. What's that? Okay. That looks like a grass type if ever I've seen one. Let's give him a bit of ice. Ice, ice, baby. In a bit. Alrighty. That worked out very well. Fringe 64 XP points as well. Thank you very much, level 12. Good stuff. Good stuff. That dealing. Keep battling. See if we can get another level in box. Okay. And Icy Wind was super effective against it last time, so I'm assuming whatever typing it has. Maybe grass? Yeah. I know it said it was a normal Pokemon, but it's got to have a dual typing. Because ice isn't super effective against normal. In fact, we could probably have a look at the Pokédex and see about the ones we've fought so far. Give me these berries. We've got some iron berries. Thank you very much, Leon. You will eat it to heal up HP. But if you give Pokemon man made items, they can't use them. Good luck, then. Good to know. So, let's have a look at our Pokédex. So, Servine, obviously, that's going to be. Grass type. Do what is a question mark type. Good to know. Patch rattles. So it's not even giving us the types when we see them. That is frustrating. Gives us our ones though. last entry in our Pokédex at the moment is our starter, so great stuff. Okay, well, that went well. Twelve and ten seems like a reasonable level to be uh, attacking uh, Jim. Just need to uh, Hopefully avoid any ground typing. It's our grass Pokemon's level 5 and that's the only thing that really is going to put up an attack against ground. Tell you what, did we go level up there? Uh, It'll be fine. What's the odds of us coming against a ground type? Gosh, what I see, it's weak against grass type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. I would be happy to face grass type Pokemon. All day. Okay. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for po trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Fresh water. Very nice of him. Welcome. We are very proud of our menu, which we adjust to suit every trainer. Not each trainer. Right, there's a grass, a fire, and a water thing. I assume because I was meant to pick the water type. I need to click on water. No. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. 
We've got Lady Vox in prime position. Let's steamroll this. Welcome to Straight Jim Jim. Care for a taste of battle, I'll serve up the first course. Bring it. <clears throat> okay. Scribe Mark sent out Gorak. What the hell's that? High level, whatever it is. Uh, that's the first Pokemon I'm worried about. I'm a little bit under leveled. To try Dragon Rage, that's generally the answer to everything in life. Didn't quite kill him. Roll like that's ground, that's gonna hurt. Ugh. Or rock, one of the two. Uh, Icy Wind, see if that would have done anything. Pretty much anything's gonna kill him at this stage, but. Super effective, yes, he's a rock type. Alright, well. That could have been dangerous, but we got through it. Lucky number 13. Let's go. Let's go. And we defeated her. Good stuff. So, check on water again. No. Okay, so it's all. Oh, the last curtain was a flame curtain, and we clicked on water. So this is a water curtain, so we need to click on grass. There we go. The most complex of puzzles, Tom. Come on, man. Alright, let's get a potion on the go. Not taking any risks. Okay. Next fight. Speciality of Straight and Gym, the full course at Trainer Deluxe. I'm your second course. Means I'm going to be eating the uh, boss for uh, the gym leader for dessert. Operator Cami. Okay. Duck look, water type. No problems. See ya. That's got one hit K written all over it. There we go. 217 points. <laughs> Worthless in that experience, apparently. Uh, Braviary. That sounds like that's going to be a bird. So let's switch to Roland and see if we can get him uh, some cheeky experience. If it's not a bird, this could have been a massive miscalculation. Definitely a bird, definitely a bird. Right, thunder shock, have a bit of that lad. Super effective, doesn't do a lot of damage. And I'm a flying type, so that's got to be not very effective. Still took a load of uh, HP off. Do we try charging in thunder shock? Let's just keep thunder shocking him for the time being. Super effective. Fury attack. Oh, I've staticed him, so paralyze. That's nice. Oh, how many has he got? Oh no, Roland's down. Roland's down. Ah, oh, devastating. The first death of the Nuzlocke. Roland, we barely knew you. Yak. Bird and psychic, we should be fine. That's just uh, confusion him out of there. Uh, I feel everything went wrong as soon as I uh, took Lady Vox out of uh, the running. <sighs> Didn't kill him, but he's wasted his move on Lear. So, as long as this hits, we should be fine. Fingers crossed. There we go. Got him. Oh, that was a costly one, though. Mm. 
Blood Miracle Eye. Ah, oh, and a cheeky second level as well. It's a thrilling experience, that. That's, which makes me think that I was massively underleveled. But. Just rip on rolling, man. That's devastating. Uh, right, well, Lady Ox is fine. Keep her front and centre. Now we need to go on the fire. There we go. Right. Let's see how this gym battle goes. I'm chilly, I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm water type specialist and my name is Cress. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Uh, my name is Cillian, I like grass type Pokemon. I mean, I've got to fight three gym leaders. I hope they let you heal in between. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, all I hear is, well, um, uh, 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 okay, enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It will be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. Good to know. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass Pokemon will, um, uh, we're going to battle, come what may. <sighs> Let's see what goes on there. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll um, uh, put everything over I got into being, a, um, a, a, you know, your opponent. This guy sounds decisive. Liliana. I prefer that name than the, the one the game gave him. Let's see. Rich girl Liliana set out Ferrothorn. What the hell's that? Looks like it's possibly steel. Oh, this doesn't look good. Let's try an icy wind. No. Okay, it's speed fell though. Okay, it's a ghost type. Speed fell. It's attack rose, defense rose. Ah, my Pokemon. Right, let's get a Dragon Rage and get him out of there. Yeah, see ya. Okay. Boosted experience, that's what we're talking about. Level 14. Oh, level 15. Ancient power. Nice rock move, I think. Oh, actually, it's different depending on which uh, Pokemon, but let's keep battling. Pan Sage. I feel like we fought this guy before and he wasn't a grass type. Yeah, ancient power is a rock type of this guy, so let's try rock type. See what our new move does. That's not going to be very effective. No. <laughs> that was a crit, did only six. Good luck with that, lad. I think I'll just finish off with the ancient power. Oh, there we go. First gym badge in the bag. Truckload of cash as well. What a surprise, you are very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Crest could beat you. Oh yeah, badge number one. That's an impressive looking badge. Alright. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's ability. If you have one badge Pokemon included traded up to the level 20, we'll obey you without question. We also want you to have this. TM83 Air Slash. Nice. Put in the HM case. Tier 83 contains work up. <laughs> if you use work up, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TM can be used as many times as you want. Okay. Except, let's face it, it's not really. Where's our TM? Air Slash. Who can use Air Slash? Yes! 
Yak is the only one who can use it. Oh no, no one can use it. Okay. Gotcha. Right. Well, we're very much nearly at the end of this episode. All we need to do is uh, head back to Pokemon Center and uh, have a sad bit of business to do. Well, I thought we did. Hi there, I'm Fennel. Professor Junior passed me to give you something. Please follow me. Well, I'm trying to go bury a, a brother here. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in Nova region, am I right? Okay, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs. Come, go upstairs. Not the best episode I've had today. So like I said, I'm Fennel and as you can see I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor, Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. Ah, HMO one cut. We can put HMO one cut in the TM case. There are some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. Use this hidden machine. You can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down the small tree, and you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? Yeah, perfect. But it's difficult to make a PM uh, Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. I'd like to ask you a favour too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Straighten City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that I'll be able to use GameSync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay. Are you a trainer? Do you use PC at Pokemon Centers? I'm a, a Manita. I maintain the box system. Do you know about the Battle Box? No. Let me give you a quick how-to. If there's a Pokemon you often use in your battles, you can register it in the battle box. Good to know. Monster PC doesn't try anything. Boo. Leon boots up the PC. Which PC should be accessed? Amanitas apparently. Pokemon storage. Time to deposit a Pokemon. Um. Deposit in him. This is pretty pretty far graveyard. There we go, that'll do us. In the dirt. The team's down to three. And that's it for uh, today's episode. Catch you next time. And